Basically, because you are putting me on the spot, I had never made my position public. For 10 years, we were close. For 10 years, we were best of friends. For 10 years, we advanced for the progress of our race, which is the Yoruba race. My reason to have even gotten this close to him was because of his love, passion for the promotion of our culture and the heritage of Yoruba race which he has not deviated from. Along the line, he got lucky. He became the 15th Aaron Okakanfo of Yoruba land. That position comes with a lot of responsibilities, comes with a lot of activities, functions. None of us was prepared for it because it just came like that and it happened. I am a very pragmatic person and I'm a very practical person. I know that that engagement that position cannot, you understand, requires a lot of capacity from people around him. Because I have other things that I have to do. I have other things that I have to follow up on. I have family issues I need to settle down, put my home together and all of that. I can't do the day-to-day -day running of that. So as a friend, I told him, I need time for myself. And he said, okay. So it was okay. That is to my own side of the story. Suddenly, I started hearing, because he never confronted me with that information, that he said, we collected 200 million from Bola Met, Ashwa Jutinungu, blah, blah, blah. I have never sat one-on-one -on -one as at this minute, or maybe tomorrow, or maybe this night, but at this minute, I've never sat one on one with Ashwaju Tinumbu to the point of him giving me 200 million. Sam, if I have 200 million, I may not come to your office. I'll probably be in the Caribbean or somewhere else. But I want to believe that it was a lie, those who are saying he said it. Because if we collected the money to set him up or to get at him, to assassinate him, 200 million. On that bridge, you can you less than one million naira. You get people who can pull trigger and do the needful. I don't want to believe that somebody that I was closest to in 10 years can think that me, Fem Davis, will get paid to deal with him. Because I have one principle. If you lose me as a friend, you have not an, gained an enemy. I will never. I would rather remain your friend before than your new enemy. A lot of thing. We went, there was, we had, um, there is an organization that he formed for Yorubas in Diaspora, which is Odua Progressive Union, OPU. They had their annual, there's an annual congress where Yorubas in Diaspora, they come to Nigeria, they go to a particular state in Yoruba land for the congress. Now, the a lot of things said, I can remember that the essence of Yoruba is is in our culture and our tradition and our language. As such, anybody who has spent the better part of his life promoting that culture, tradition and heritage should be seen as the one fighting for the cause of Yoruba race. Hence, his um, emergence as the Aronika Kanfo is properly put. Because I've not seen any woman being, any Yoruba man to today who has promoted the culture who have stood for the tradition and heritage of our race. So I believe that for Alafi to have decided, it goes beyond um, interest, it goes beyond emotion. He must have done his consultation, and I know that he also consulted other referred kings in Yoruba land, and they all gave him the go-ahead to do it. That is why today I feel that is aptly qualified as an advocate and promoter of that culture called Yoruba. It's entitled to it. That's another thing entirely. Capacity is about office. It's about structure. I have left him almost close to eight months now and I lost interest. So I don't know. But at the time we were there, there was capacity, there was structure, there was ability. So for now, I cannot speak about where I don't know.
you understand what I'm saying? I left voluntarily. There was no fight, there was no rancor. So, like I said, where the rumor of the 200 million came from, I don't know. And the house in Canada, the house in Lekki, you and I know where I live. <laughs> I've not changed that dress. You can't have a house in Lekki and be living. I'm coming to Ale. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So, I want to, along the line, sometimes it's the challenge of leadership. When you expose yourself too much to a lot of people, you get distracted, you get misinformed and all that. But I know that my friend for 10 years will know that 200 million is too cheap for me to accept to get at somebody. Now, I am an advent lover of Juju music. Shinon Peters is my Juju idol. Okay, well, I have an access to him. Let me tell you, our uh, closeness was on the strength of one thing. We met in South Africa, funny enough, 10 years ago. I was going to church, so I called my church members who were in South Africa to come and pick me in the hotel. I attended Celestial Church of Christ, so they were in Sutana. So they came, I was Sutana, I was living. It was not like, ah, these people in Sutana, they will be Nigerians and maybe Yoruba. So when I said, so you don't know that man? That man is from Davis now, the journalist from Nigeria. I know him, he's in South Africa. And I said, no. So that person wrote to me, I said, ah, Ghanaians will like him. Just like the, your reason, or like Jujuma wants to see me. And when I went to Sutana, when I come back from church, I'll see him and all that. That was the genesis of the relationship. Throughout our relationship, throughout, he has never told me. Or we never shared or exchanged anything that Juju like. He recognized my religious belief. He himself is Keruban Seraphim. That is his background. So he never introduced Juju to me. We have traveled to almost 30 something countries together. At least when you travel with somebody, you carry your luggage together and all that. He is not that perception of him. That's not it. We are not friends anymore, but I will not lie just because we are not friends. He is not what people think he is. His position is that he's leading a social cultural organization, which I understand is now going political. So in leading a social cultural organization of Yoruba, he has to recognize the religion being practiced in that race, which is Christian, Muslim, and the traditional. But society have a way of coming up with their own opinion about what they think. So this one, look at me. I don't have, like, you know, that's uh, but my belief is that he recognizes all those practices. They are his members and is their leader. So whatever they practice, he has, in, his, in OPC, they have the Christian body, they have the Muslim body, and they have the traditional body. So, but people see more. Me, you say, I'm old, I'm OPC. And they're like, ah, you will have. I'm a member of the Celestial Church of Christ until tomorrow. So, what you are looking for, I don't have. Wow. But if you need contact of Abalist, I can give you. No, it's fear. Fear. Fear of, I can't call him. I can't talk to him. The rich, the structured, the influential, the marvel at that position. Who is that Alkani? It's not somebody that you can do that to. That I admire in him. So that may be the reason why. You understand what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter is that Allah is the only individual in the world who can give that position out. And it's the only title chief that runs across the Yoruba race. You understand? The glamour attached to it was because the last two people, MK Abiola and Akintola, were well celebrated and all that. So, please, even a king in a domain, there are people from that domain that will say, we don't accept him as our king. So, it's expected. Partly a Yoruba thing, but fear of the father, this boy is too sub. You know, the, the rich people, you understand, some of you rich people don't see people as growing. They remain your boy because you have money. So even when he has money, 
it's still your boy with money, you know. So I feel it's about fair and who it is. I have not seen anything to that direction. I was at um, the wedding of, there was a former governor of Abia in Oriental. Ashwaju was there. We came in with Ghana Adams and he went to greet Ashwaju. They even spoke for almost like 45 to one minute. I didn't see that. You see perception. There's nothing you can do about it. And for two celebrities, there's no way you can manage it there will be a lot of people in between saying what is not. I don't know of any official fracas. Politically, there are differences. While Ashwaju was for Buhari, he was rooting for Jonathan. On the strength of who approached me first, by the time I know officially that Buhari approached him and he told him that I appreciate your approach, but you are coming a bit late. I've already given my word to President Jonathan. That is the hallmark of a man with a clear mind. Somebody else who wants to play politics will be in between and indifferent and all that, but he told him. And it's the same Buhari government that paid for the pipeline contract. They, they approved the money and they paid. So it was not appropriate. Or if there was no relationship, it wouldn't have been approved now. So I want to believe that so many things that you read are not true. If they have issues officially, to the best of my knowledge, to the point that an Ashwaju will want to eliminate him, and he will now look for people to eliminate, I will now offer me 200 million naira to eliminate him. It's, it's, it's a big laugh. Um, the most difficult, uh, I think God has been very fair to me. For, in terms of celebrities, the ones I've worked with, I worked with Ebuki Wright, I worked with Pasuma, I worked with Chino Peters, and a whole lot. I have a relationship with K1, even when we were in school. I was a campus promoter. That was when I know most of them, in the 90s. So, I, because of the way I have built myself, Nobody, no, no artist can be difficult to work with. The reason is this. I'm supposed to be way, way, way ahead of, ahead of you. So I'm the one giving you direction. So why are you going to be difficult? It's about making money. You are not the one bringing the money. I'm not looking for the money in your pocket. I'm bringing the money. So I can they say, who bring the money with the 10? Uh, so the, that's basically. And thank God that in my 10 years with Pasuma and my several years with Shino Peters up till tomorrow, he has proven to be a very decent and um, well behaved. At sometimes we have events, even me, I'm still at home. He will tell me that he's at the venue. When is he coming on stage? The manager is still at home. You understand? What I'm saying? Not the type that I will get to event, I will not be panicking and looking for the art. No, no, no. None of them. They have never. They've been wonderful artists and. In fact, the, the money is what I used to train myself in school and all that, 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 that. So, I've never had any difficult celebrities. If you are controversial and we have to work together, I have to think. Because it's not about money. It's about putting my name on your own brand and something positive must come out of it. So, that is it. Um, or to Mike Benga Daniel, till tomorrow, remains my political idol, mentor. The bulk of what I am now, in terms of exposure, in terms of reality of life, is what I studied, what I've tapped from him. I also know that when Ashwa Jutinumbu made up his mind to be governor of Lagos State, he was presented to the same mentor of mine. They lived together, and the idea of him becoming the governor of Lagos State. In fact, his first cabinet was structured in Maryland, the headquarters of Cresta Laurel, where he has his personal building. If tomorrow, Otoba Wingada Nell says, Femi, I'm leasing you out to work with Ashwaju Tinumbu. 
I obey my leader. But anything outside that, I will not say no. Because I've been trained never to say never. But it is going to be on the direction of my political mentor, which is Otumba Bengadana.